Praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, my name is Mario. I am an apostolic Pentecostal. And if you'll give me five minutes, I want to make these videos a little different. Just want to speak to you all on what the Spirit is leading me to speak to you all. Uh, it's currently 9.59 in the morning. I don't have church for like another two hours. But last night, I, I was woken up around 3 a.m. And I wish I could say that I was woken up by the Spirit, but it wasn't a Spirit. It was actually a storm. We had a massive storm. I mean, beating rain on my windows. And it, the way my room's set up is, you know, I sleep there, and then my computer's there, and I've got three big windows right here that is my current light source to do these videos. But a title came to me as I was sitting there laying in my bed looking at the rain beat on the window and then what happened afterwards. Uh, the title was The Calm After the Storm. <laughs> Often we hear about the calm before the storm, but we don't really talk about what happens afterwards. And it reminded me of the story we find in Mark 4, 35 through 41, where Jesus was with the disciples in the boat. And I want to read it real quick. And the same day when the, when the even was come, he said unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship, and there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, so he's in the back part, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, do you not care that we would perish? And he, and he got up and he rebuked the wind. So he, he said, Wind stop, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they fear exceedingly and said one unto another, What manner of this is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? I'm so thankful that I found an apostolic church. If you're not familiar with that term, a church that we believe everything that's written in the Bible. We're not a just a New Testament church. Everything that we do is biblically based. But there was a time in my life where I was in a storm and Jesus was there. You know, I never stopped believing, but there was a period for about two years where I just feel like I really didn't need him. And so that's how I imagine the disciples were, you know, they had him with him on board, but he was just kind of sleep and dormant and they were fine without him. But as soon as terror was coming onto them, uh, the winds and seas were getting crazy, that's when they called on his name. And what did he do? He rose up and, and said, oh man, rose up and calmed the seas. And so in order for the storms in our life, the chaos, notice what the disciples did. They said, master, they called on his name. And that's when Jesus finally rose up. But what I want to talk about is the calm after the storm. They fearfully admired him and they said, man, how is it that, that even the seas and winds obey him? But I'm sure in that moment they were just, we're just so thankful to have Jesus. And that's how I was. When I came back to the church, I just sat there that Thursday uh, during service and I was like, man, I'm just so thankful to have Jesus, to know Him, and I can call on Him. It, it wasn't like I needed to have a revelation experience. I didn't have an aisle run. I didn't, it wasn't none of that. I was just calmly in my heart saying, wow, I'm just so thankful. And that chaos that I was experiencing was gone. I had the peace that the disciples experienced after Jesus came into their life and calmed the storms. I had that exact same peace in my heart and it was beautiful and so i was sitting there last night in my bed comfortably and even though there was a massive storm outside i was just sitting there thankful wow i've got a roof over my head comfortable bed windows to protect me from all this and so as crazy as it was out there i was so thankful to be in here and i just imagine jesus was this house for me last night during the storm protecting me keeping peace in my heart. And I hope Jesus one day for you all does that for you. Is that peace in your heart? Not everyone will accept him. That's okay. But those who do, man, 
You'll experience a peace that you've never experienced. Do three things for me before uh, leaving this video. Please give this video a like. Share this video if it brought value to you or touched you. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you all for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you.